Frankie, we've got special guests from the internet. Our first person from the internet that we don't really know, and we've got two macaroni and cheeses that we've had before. Today, on Box Bag. Yeah! That's not even the thing we're doing. <laughs> Excited to have you here. The reality is this. Yeah. We met you about an hour ago. Yeah. yeah. This is somebody who is a fan. Yeah. Yep. Who reached out to us, said, I live nearby. Um, I am a serial killer. Yep. <laughs> but I drew a picture of you guys, and you're such egomaniacs yeah. that it's worth the risk. Yeah. I love this picture. Look at You're this. drowning in macaroni and cheese, well, which yeah. which is kind of the show. Frankie is like pushing you into it. Like for freedom. We're pretty good friends. Wouldn't you let me do that? And, and you would die a, a Viking's death. I do appreciate that it's the rapid. I even made sure to get the little cow nipple in there. This is a kind of a really unique style. What is, is this like your style? Yeah. The way you characterize faces and yeah, muscle I, groups. I mean, look at it, my, my like ripped intense. neck. I like my art to be like in, intense. Like you're reaching out from <laughs> hell. Like I tried to make the cheese. Yeah, like the fun. red in the background. Yeah. You didn't make me all like plump like I really am. I'm almost anemic. I drew most of that in pen. And then what happened was I drew so many noodles that it became kind of a cluttered mess. So I had to, <laughs> I had to color. It. You did this for the art contest. Yes, I did, but I missed the deadline. This was our way of making up for it yeah. by being like, well, then you can just come to our come homes to our show. and possibly kill us. And I'll yeah. never so, leave. Do you like mac and cheese, Andrew? Mm. No, I don't know. I'm, yes, 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 okay. yes. Yes, right. I, uh, uh, I used to eat uh, the Stouffer's mac and cheese like every day. <sighs> it's one of and my that's, favorites. That's why I used to be 300 pounds. <laughs> Slim down, you got it under control, but yeah. today we're gonna be eating mac. All I've got here is two, two, three cheeses. You, I hear, have never had three cheeses. I have never had three cheeses. I've had so many macs now that I think there might actually be ones I like more than three cheese, um, but we're not, we're not gonna talk about that. It's a g <laughs> We're not gonna discuss the fact that three cheeses may have been unseated, and we didn't even talk about it when it was. What we do have here is we have a box from TV's Gary. Gary DeRoche, my, one of my uh, lifelong, lifelong friends. You don't know what's uh, in this box? I have no idea. It's the blonde head of Gwyneth Paltrow. He just told you. You know what I need to mention? What? Is that I assume you people were wearing makeup. These two people have the most flawless skin of any humans <laughs> on the earth. That. They don't have a single <laughs> dot on them. It's amazing. Well, it'll make up for all of our other flaws. Look at this, Frankie. Oh my cheese. Whoa. It's from the Macaroni and Cheese Nation, established 1995. This is a macaroni and cheese cooking device. We gotta use reference three cheese because that's what we always do. When we tried the Rapid, we did the same thing. Yeah. Are we going to try to get rid of the Rapid Mac? The Rapid has done inconsistent results with some more complicated Macs. I'm in the market for a replacement. This thing though, not cheap. No. It ain't no Rapid value. $31. And what is it that it's meant to be able to do? It only cooks macaroni and cheese. This looks like a gardening tool. It's got a crank on it. Yeah. Nice styrofoam inserts, single walled cardboard construction. <laughs> uh, Smart Planet is the name of the brand. And I assume this, this comes off, right? And it's got a little paddle. It's got this little hole too. I'm downright intimidated by this thing. I am too, this is a little much. Often when I talk about kitchen appliances, I talk about the tiers of kitchen appliances, right? A pan, a basic like saucepan, tier one. <laughs> a basic saucepan. It's absolutely essential for you to use your kitchen to have a pan, right? But measuring cups, that's probably tier one. But if we take a, a brief look through my drawers, the potato masher, it's probably tier three. This this tea strainer, this is probably tier four. Right. This is a cherry pitter. Its only function is to pit cherries and olives. This is tier five. Nobody really needs this in their life, but some people have it. This thing looks like that to me. It looks like a tier five. Would you ever have one of these in your kitchen? Uh... <laughs> Maybe in your sub-basement. I think the idea is that it does 100% of the job. Stirring knob, ingredient slot and cap, strainer, the heating element. It uses 1200 watts, Frankie. This is a serious piece of equipment. Should we just ask Andrew to do the whole thing? I think so. Oh, I could use this time to plug my dumb channel that everybody <laughs> likes, that's awful. Oh yeah, we didn't even talk about it. Why, hello there. This is Request <laughs> Channel. Oh, I would love to hear what you explain Request Channel because it's the weirdest thing in the world. Uh, from what I can tell, you stand in front of a green screen and people tell you to say things and you say them. Well, that's, yes, that's exactly right. Well, you nailed it. Oh, so, so, <laughs> yeah, it's the most popular thing I do and it's the dumbest thing in the world. I record the videos during a live stream and like... Yeah, and then cut them up. Add three cups of water. Do not overfill. If you add more, it might boil over. Okay. I did some research on the Macaroni and Cheese Nation because I really wanted to know about that. Established 1995. Right? <laughs>
It's such hockey. There's no background. There's no information. There's no products besides this maker. Well, I think someone was born in 1995, and that's why they made it established 1995. A young man named Mac and Cheese Nation. Yeah. It's actually already starting to, to, and I just put this water in. Whoa. There has to be a serious value add if it's gonna be a $31 mac and cheese product. I'm concerned about the cleanup because I, I don't think I can submerge this. Which kind of reminds me of like things like it. What? <laughs> this, this show's supposed to be family friendly and you're gonna bring that up. I mean, yeah, you're right, but that's not okay. It's not necessarily a swear. Neither one of those two words is a swear. I know. Moms and kids watch it together. Yeah, so please, please no talk. I told my mom that I was coming on here and she like watched the first episode. She got like a, a minute in and you were like, what's better, a market basket or regular? And she's like, I gotta know. I'm supposed to put the cover on first. Oh, so it's meant to be, that's the, this is, all this is is a spoon. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's, it's your spoon. This is for somebody who doesn't have quick access to a kitchenette or a stove. Uh, maybe, probably, maybe. Probably a dorm room. I'm smelling a lot of like, like melty plastic. It smells so plasticky. I, 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 I don't know if I should dump this out and try again. Oh, it's plastic tassel. Oh, oh. It smells like a pool toy. And it's super hot. I, I, I can't take the top off. I can dump out the water via the strainer. I wouldn't think boiling anything in plastic would be a good idea. No. The plastics you need to use to be boil safe are like this kind of plastic. This is the uh, this octoplastic, and it's a serious plastic. You found that most of your fans come from Chile? Oh, yeah, Chile and Argentina. Yeah, I'm really popular on this site uh, called Taringa, which is like 4chan in uh, South America. And they like my videos, I think, because they tell me to say stuff in Spanish, and I don't speak Spanish, so I say everything everything wrong, which I think is really funny to them. You get a lot of that ja, ja, ja type stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lucas, tiene diabetes. Ja, 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 ja. This is like my favorite thing in the world, this show. Cause it's like, you make box mac and cheese, you compare it, like nobody else has ever done this somehow. Woo! The ah. dedication is so great. One of us is dedicated. Yeah, I do. Frankie's dedicated in the editing department. Look, he's putting the salt in the little hole. And that's what it's for. Your channel is not huge yet, but I think it will be, cause it's amazing. You're gonna be like, I can't believe we had that idiot from that channel where he wears dumb hats <laughs> and yells at people uh, on our channel. I, mean, I, I already think that. Yeah, oh good. I think we're gonna boil this water up and it's gonna be just as freaking plasticky as the last batch. So far, the Rapid Max got it all over this thing. Yeah, I'll say. I've seen a lot of them popping up on eBay now. These guys? Yeah. It's a relatively new product, isn't it? Yeah, I just saw it middle of last year. According to this, I have to put the macaroni in the ingredient hole. All right, this is, this is a, an unmitigated disaster. It, the hole's not big enough. It continues to sound like you're describing a how many times are you gonna have to, you're just gonna have to edit it out every time? So I'm supposed to stir occasionally, and this is super inconvenient, by the way. Oh, jeez. Holy crap! Oh my god. <laughs> I was supposed to turn it down, and I didn't listen, I didn't turn it down fast enough. There could have been a genuine injury just then. Is everyone safe? Is everyone fine? Is the audio still rolling? The audio's still Is Andrew still here? <laughs> this thing is dangerous. Uh, you know what I forgot about was the other batch of Mac. First of all, this is getting way too hot. Yeah, it is. And not only that, but if you want to stir, you have to actually stir across the steamy bit, which is like putting all the steam on your hand. Steamed hands? Why not make this auto stir? I mean, that would be like a value add, wouldn't it? Yeah. You could do it like you do a car jack where you do half and try to let the power, nope, that doesn't work. I don't think so. Even if there was a wind up crank on the side and it just slowly spins. Yes, the side, that's so smart. Smart. This really seems on the edge of safety standards, to be honest with it you. It does. And to be fair, I, I did pre-read the directions. I knew I had to turn it down to boil, but I was just gonna leave it at boil for a second to like get it, get it going. And then it nearly ruined me. Well, how long is that? Look, it's doing it again. Look, it's on simmer. I'm following the directions exactly. People have been li linking us to this over and over again, going like, oh, the Rapid Max got competition. I don't think it does. I don't does. think it has a chance. Look, there's water all over my table and I didn't spill most of it. Usually college dorms have microwaves, don't yeah. they? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's allowed. How am I supposed to know, Frankie, if my noodles are done? Uh, how am I supposed to determine it? There it goes again. There you go. Oh, my Lanta. And there's no safety device so that even if I get in this situation. It's totally unsafe. I can't turn it down because the, there's no channeling away the water. Yeah, get your art out yeah. of here. This is an awful device. I'm gonna assume the pasta's done. It's a little underdone. I think you just take the whole thing and put it in a pot. It's boiling up again. The threshold between overboil and like a tiny amount of boil is like, a sixteenth of an inch on the dial. It's like the ooze from um, Ghostbusters 2. You foul, obnoxious mom! This is what you do with your spare time. 
it's feeding off of our temperaments. Heat resistant gloves are recommended because hot steam will be coming out of the unit. With Rapamac, we had nice things to say about, even if their product is a sham. We don't actually know if it's a sham. We haven't done that show yet. Is it just me or does it almost seem like this thing's a good idea? It's got everything you need to make Mac. It's got a small pot, a way to make hot water, a strainer, and a stirrer. It almost seems smart. Almost, but it's got, it's got some engineering flaws. So you would never just take the whole top off to get this stuff in You're not supposed to, it's too hot, they say. I got like noodles stuck in my shoes. I know, because the noodles went everywhere when I used this stupid device. I got noodles in my shoodles. It's not mixed you... in the least. Maybe I have to stir more aggressively. I could have just stirred it in a pot. Okay, anybody who thinks this show is a parody, John is legitimately sad. I am really upset. Like a death in the family. I had high hopes. We're gonna start with the original. Classic prep. Mm. Good three cheesy. Yes, it's quite good. Pick up this 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 three cheesy disappointment that's gonna give us all cancer. Mm. Wow. I mean, the cheese just isn't integrated. It's watery, for sure. It's still tasty. <laughs> it's pretty good, but not as good as the other one. Whoever made this should be ashamed of themselves. Yep. I also wanna make it crystal clear that we are still, to this day, completely unsponsored. That's right. This is our opinions. Yes. This product, I wouldn't allow them to sponsor our show. No. It's unsafe. Do not buy it. Do not use it in your home. Cost, the safety, and the overall terrible design and long uh, cleanup of this thing. It doesn't tell you how you're supposed to clean it up. Just fall asleep still wearing it. I don't know, I'll turn this into a debate show for a second. You're gonna defend this yes. thing? You're gonna defend? Yes, the end justifies the means. Because this thing does not taste like plastic, it tastes delicious. And you're in right. the end, you're crying alone in your dorm room, eating this <laughs> cheese, and you're like, damn, this tastes pretty good. What dorm floor doesn't have a common kitchen area or a small kitchenette? You'd have Just to have a life that's sadder than college. And somehow still be able to afford $31 of something that you can do yeah, in any you, kitchen. It's a one-time investment, Frankie. Every apartment <laughs> in the so the state of Massachusetts is required by law to have a stove. Yeah. If you have a minimum apartment, you will have a stove. You don't need this thing in your house. Maybe if you're a bum living on the streets, maybe then you need this thing. Otherwise, you're just gonna burn your hands. That's it from BoxMac. If there's no show next week, Andrew killed us. Please call for help. Please call for help. Andrew killed us. Did you enjoy our new serial killer friend, Angry Kirby? Are you morbidly curious to see his freakish YouTube channel? Subscribe here and also take a look at our UK Mac finale. See you next Sunday, denizens of Red Cow.